Hello everyone, welcome to Skola Online Technik Automotive. In this video I will show you how does the charging system work. Okay, the charging system work on in the three in three condition. The first condition is when you uh, turn the ignition switch to on and the engine is off. The second condition when you turn on the engine and engine is running on uh, low low speed and the third condition is you uh, push the pedal and the engine is running on medium or high speed okay let's see on the first condition oh before I starting before I start to explain the first, second and third condition, let's see on this diagram. This is the basic system, the basic of charging system, which consists of alternator, regulator and battery, uh, fuse and load, as you can see on this uh, white board. In this condition, there are two circuit that is working the first circuit the electric current flows from the battery to the fusible link turn left to the ignition switch up to the fuse to uh, go to the IG terminal of regulator turn down and then to the PL1 PL1 as you can see the electric current doesn't flow to the air or resistor because the electric current flows to the uh, to the easiest obstacle that that they can flow so they choose to the PL0 now the PL0 is uh, on the first condition the natural condition of this system is uh, engage or uh, attach to the PL1. So from the IG to the PL1, PL0, turn left, turn down to the F terminal of regulator and then go to the F terminal of alternator, to the brush of uh, rotor, to the slip ring and go to the rotor coil. From the rotor coil goes back to the slip ring, another, another slip ring, to the another to the another brush and then to the E terminal of alternator and uh, end it on the ground or earth. So in this condition, because the electricity flow to the rotor coil, then the rotor coil is become the electromagnet. Okay, this is uh, that is the first circuit. The second circuit or the, the second uh, circuit that working on this condition battery, uh, from the battery electric current flows to the fusible link turn left, turn up to the ignition switch, turn left to the fuse to the charge warning lamp turn down to the L terminal of regulator, turn down and as you can see this is another junction Junction, the electric current as, as I mentioned before choose the easiest the easiest way they can flow and they choose to the P0 instead of to the voltage regulator P0 and P1 so again this is the uh, neutral condition or the, the first condition the system the P0 is engaged with P1 the PL0 engaged with PL1 as I mentioned before so the electric current flows from the P0 to P1, turn right, turn down, turn left to the E terminal of regulator, regulator and go to the earth or ground. So the second circuit that is working, the charge warning alarm is turned on, turned on. Uh, you can prove this when you uh, turn your ignition switch to on position you can see the charge warning lamp is turning on this is the normal condition 
Now, in the second condition, when the ignition switch turn, turned on and the engine is running, or uh, when it start the engine and the engine running on the low speed or medium speed. In this condition, there are three circuits that is working. The first, the natural voltage. The natural voltage, because of uh, in the alternator, the uh, induction was happening. The electricity flows from the natural point of the stator coil flow to the end terminal of alternator to the uh, flow to the end terminal of regulator straight and down and turn left to the voltage relay turn left to the E terminal of regulator go and, and go to the ground or earth as you can see because of electricity flow to the voltage relay thus the voltage relay become a electromagnet and because there are uh, magnetic split the P0 oh, sorry this is P0 pulled down and then engaged with P2 now another electric current that flows from the another side of stator coil flows flow to the rectifier or diodes and then flow to the B terminal of alternator go to the B terminal of regulator uh, straight up right and down to the P2 uh, and then flow to the P0 and meet with the voltage that flows from the battery so uh, the voltage is standby from the B terminal of alternator standby on uh, at this point the electric current f flows from the battery fuse building to the left ignition switch fuse uh, fuse charge warning lamp L terminal and then goes down so they meet at the same voltage because of this condition there are no uh, differential of uh, potential difference between the uh, current that flows from this side and flows that uh, current that flows from this side in that condition the charge warning lamp is off so that circuit is off and charge warning lamp off the current that flows from the B to the P2, P0 doesn't goes up to the L or goes down to the uh, from the L they move, they flow to the voltage regulator and then goes to the E terminal of regulator and to ground in this condition because of the uh, electricity or vo voltage that flows from the B to the voltage regulator is moderately strong thus the PL0 is pulled pulled down by the voltage regulator that is becoming uh, an electromagnet let's see another circuit that also flow from the B terminal of alternator to another another way up right and down to left and to the ignition switch to the fuse and then to the IG terminal of regulator IG and as you can see the electric current as they are standby at this point at the PL1 point they can uh, jump to the PL, PL0 thus they turn left to the air or resistor it goes up goes down to the F terminal of regulator strike to the F terminal of alternator to the brush slip ring rotor coil slip ring brush E terminal alternator and to the ground or earth now this is different from the previous condition which is uh, the electric current 
flows from PL1 to the PL0. In this condition, they flow through the resistor. Thus, the electric current that flow to the rotor coil is smaller than previously. Next, another circuit that is working on this condition. As you can see, this there are um, wire that connects on this uh, point. So the electric current or voltage that that is generated from stator coil from B terminal of alternator flow up to this uh, way and right and down to the fusible link and to the battery. This is happen when the battery have a lower voltage compared to the uh, voltage that is generated from the stator coil. For example, if the battery have uh, if the battery has uh, 11.5 uh, volt and uh, B terminal have 12 volt. Thus, the electric the electricity flow from the 12 to the 11.5, and this is called uh, charging. And another path uh, from the B terminal of alternator up right. The electricity can also flow to the uh, fuse switch or load. For example, headlamp, um, radio, etc. Now, the third condition is when ignition switch is on and the engine also running, but on the medium speed or high speed. This is when you push the pedal to the high speed. So, there are three uh, circuits that is working on this condition. The first is um, neutral voltage that flows from the stator coil. Because of the engine run, uh, engine speed is high, thus the rotor coil is also uh, on the high speed condition. Because of that, the electricity that is that generated that is generated from from the static coil is also high. The first circuit, uh, the electricity that flows from that generated from the uh, neutral point of the static coil, from uh, flow to the N terminal of alternator, go to the N terminal of regulator, strike and down to the voltage relay, from the voltage relay to the E-terminal of regulator and go to the ground or earth. In this condition, in this condition, the P0 is pulled by the uh, electromagnet of electromagnet of voltage relay. Because of this condition, the charge warning lamp, as I mentioned before, on this second uh, condition, on the low or medium speed is off. Now, another circuit. As I mentioned before, the stator coil generated a very high voltage that, fl that flow from the natural point and also another point of the stator coil that flows to the rectifier and go to the B terminal of alternator. From the B terminal of alternator, straight to the B terminal of regulator up, right and down to the P2 that is uh, engaged with P0 because uh, they are pulled by voltage relay. P2, P0 and a flow to the voltage regulator to the E-terminal of regulator and go to the ground. As I mentioned, this is the big voltage, big current that flows to the voltage regulator and also voltage relay. On the voltage regulator, big voltage, it makes the, the coil become a very strong um, electromagnet that can pull the PL0 becoming engaged with PL2. This is different from the previously that PL0 is flow, flows on the center between PL1 and PL2. In this condition, on high high speed, PL0 attach or engage with PL2. 
the third circuit that is working on this condition. The electric current that is uh, generated from the static coil flows from the B terminal up, right, down to the ignition switch, to the fuse, and to the IG terminal of regulator. And from the IG goes down, they, uh, because the PL1 and PL0 are not engaged, they flow to the resistor. And at this point, they choose the easiest way they can flow. As I mentioned before, the electric current doesn't flow to the... Uh, they flow to the easiest way. So, instead of flowing to the F terminal of regulator and goes to the rotor coil, because this is the resistor or load, the electric current flow to the PL0. So, again, from IG to the resistor, turn right to the PL0. From the PL0 to the PL2, goes down, left to the E-terminal regulator, and go to the ground. The electricity doesn't flow to the rotor coil at all. Because of this condition, at high speed, the regulator is working, uh, they, uh, they don't give the rotor coil the, the electricity. Because of that, the stator coil doesn't, uh, doesn't generate a high voltage as this condition. So that's how charging system work on the simplest system or conventional system. If you have any question or comments, Feel free to leave them below. Thank you very much.